come closer. There's so much to get in video. <laughs> I don't do requested videos very much because y'all don't ever request anything or if you do, I've already done the video. Uh, this one was a request and that is to compare the difference between how Aminata feels and how psilocybin feels. I used Aminata first and I used it for a year and a half before I ever used psilocybin. My first psilocybin experience is on my website at aminatadreamer.net because of censorship here. I have a playlist there on I do and theogens and I do a lot of different things there on camera and you can see it all. My first experience was eight and a half grams and that is there and then the whole thing is was videoed. Since then I have done low dose, which to me is like five grams. It was underwhelming. <laughs> and then higher dose, like nine, nine and a half grams and my next will be 10. I've also done small, like one, one and a half gram experiences. So I just want you to know what my experience is. This is the one that I use the most. Lots of high dose experiences with the tea, which is Ivo and muscamol, uh, pushing more and more decarb until I've done full muscamol decarbs. And I have a lot of videos on that on amnitadreamer.net. It's hard to explain just in general how Amnita feels because you can do the tea with about a 50-50 conversion of ibotenic acid and muscimol up until the ibotenic acid starts to bother you. And then you have to start converting it more and pushing your dose on the tea higher and higher and higher. And that is just, that that is its own experience. High dose of the two, blend of the two, gives you a completely different experience than doing a full muscimol. I want to say, for the record, I do not recommend anyone doing a full muscimol experience with this until you've had a lot of experience with this. And I have those warnings. I go into that in detail all over my website. Just please don't do that yet. First, do your micro and macro dosing with this. Then push your doses higher and higher and higher and get those experiences. That is the best way to trip with this than Full muscimol. Full muscimol is fully therapeutic. Not fun. It's work. It's therapeutic. Seek help for that. Do not do that alone. Having said that, let's talk about this one. This one in high doses, I'm going to compare each phase. So the come up. The come up on this is almost non-existent. You tend to not feel it, and then the next thing you know, you're like, you know what? I think I'm going to do some stuff, whatever the stuff is. And you'll get busy. And it may be things you don't really like to do, like dishes or laundry or tidying up or straightening up or cleaning up. Psilocybin's come up very different. I find it almost hard to take. It feels like I'm trying to embody lots and lots and lots and lots of energy. And it comes in waves so that I'll be normal and then I'll be like, oh, here it comes, there's colors, you know, and then I'll feel this body sensation of just intense energy and I have to blow and breathe and try to get through it and it can almost be painful, like hard to take all that energy and then it'll calm down again and I can relax and then it'll come again in an even higher wave and I feel like I'm expanding and squeezing at the same time and it can be really, really hard and then the sounds will start in my ears and it just feels like I'm getting squeezed and squeezed and squeezed. Almost like, this is high dose psilocybin, almost like I'm leaving my body and to leave and to leave to go, I'm getting squeezed through a tighter and tighter space until I finally pop out of it and then I'm, I'm gone, right? But each wave, each squeeze is harder and harder. Then with Amanita, you may be working and busy and doing and then all of a sudden you're just starting to feel this sense of amazingness, bigness, largeness, powerfulness. And I just, I want to be here. And you start thinking about all the things you want to do and that foundation you want to start, the land you want to buy and the off-gridding stuff you want to do or the travel that you want to do or the things that you've forgotten, the dreams that you had. And just, you start really thinking, I can do this. I really want to be big here. I really want to be powerful here. I want to do the things I came here to do. And then psilocybin 
for me, because again, high doses, all of a sudden I'll be talking with my sitter or noticing things around me. And then I'll be like, Oh God, I can feel I'm going to go this time. And then I'll just feel my eyes like close and I can't help it. I can't control it. And then poof, I'm gone with Amanita. It's more, it, it depends on where they're from usually, but they have that Ibo side, which can be very joking and laughter and it makes you want to dance and just feel your body and you're just in it. And just, oh my God, this is amazing. I love this. I love, I want to, I love everybody and I love me and I live this life. And I would just, it's great to be alive with psilocybin. <laughs> Once I leave, then it feels like they do a lot of work as soon as I get there. Surgery on my body, surgery on parts of me that they're trying to get stuff out of real quick and, and tidy things up. And I will spend that first wave of them working on me, opening my head, getting shit out, opening my heart, working on it, my back, moving things out, clearing things up. Surgery. Here. On, the, on Amnita, when I start to dance and I'm enjoying myself, then after about an hour of that, it will start to feel like something centers and seats and says, we need to think about some things. From this place of, I love everything. I love being here. I love being human. I love the planet. And those things then are going to be personal to you. But you, it seems like I think about things that are related to time, related to stress, panic, and anxiety. So how I'm living my life, a relationship, a job, things that are pressing on me. But instead of from a place of worry, I'm coming from a place of knowing and everything's good, everything's fine, but let's think about these things. And I start to get information from the Amanita about it. And they say things like, we love you. Can you feel the love? And, and I'll feel like the sense of warmth and love. And then they're like, but don't you think? And then I would start to get this sense of wisdom and knowingness about what's stressing me out. And that it, it's sort of like, you know, you know, though, right? You know. And then I know. And I'm like, yeah, I know. And then they'll say, hold still for a minute. And it's like I get this download about that topic. And then they'll say, just sit still for a minute. And then I feel like I need to sit still and breathe. And then I can tell whatever is going on up here is being connected to what's in my body and wherever those memories are connected and whatever's keeping me in resistance to making the changes I need to make or thinking the better thoughts I need to think about it or using better discernment. That's when it feels like the work is beginning. With psilocybin, it feels like when they finish the tinkering and the surgery, then there's sort of this floating where I can hear that universal hum, the buzz, and I feel like I'm hovering and I feel like there's all the entities are busy, buzzing, moving, going, they're around me. It's when I get to see some of the other living things out there going to work. <laughs> they're just busy helping other customers. And I can tell they're waiting for me to say my intention, what I'm here to do. And so I will tell the psilocybin, well, the biggest thing that's bothering me right now is, and I think it, and usually then they'll put me in a holding place. Like, one moment, please, while we load your program. And it's almost like I can hear like music sort of waiting. And I pop into this suspended animation place while I'm waiting. And that's when I usually see lotus unfolding and it's beautiful. Or the octopus and it's beautiful or a frog. I've seen a frog, the beauty, and it's just glowing, multicolored, all the purples and blues all over it. And it's like, they're saying, enjoy this. We know you humans like these things. <laughs> enjoy this while we load your information or where we're sending you or, or I'm in some transfer pod, like I'm going somewhere. Right. 
And when I get there, all of a sudden they open it up and that's when the imagery starts. I already said what it was I wanted to work on and they open me up to whatever that lesson is. And so that's when the imagery starts of the entity that I'm negotiating with or they start showing me the lesson I needed to learn or they say, state your cause, state your quest, state your problem, whatever. It That's when it gets very unique to me with this. I have had instances where, and it's on camera, where I've done the European Amanitas. You can go see that on AmanitaDreamer.net, where they say, okay, this one's going to be a lot. And I could feel that they left part of me here and part of me left and went with them somewhere. In other trips on this, I've had experiences where I was where I was and they've said, go to this place. So they asked me to go to my den or go to my kitchen or go out back. And when I go there, suddenly I see my own self in time fracture out in front of me and I'll see myself here right now, but I'll see multiple versions of myself running different scenarios of possibilities in my free will and then seeing it collapse on the best of those scenarios. And they show me, these are all your options to move forward right now. And then it will collapse on one and then I will move forward into that one. Or I will see just in general, leaving myself, leaving time, depending on how high the dose is, the higher the dose, the longer these time fractures are sustainable. So on lower doses, it'll go broom, broom, and collapse. Or I'll get like a blip of being somewhere else in time and then, I'm, and then I'm back again. But the higher the dose is of this, when it's the mix of Ivo and Muscomol, the longer I stay in that, like, so when, when I see time fracture outward, I see me moving and doing things a hundred of me moving and doing things and I want to travel to different ones and visit those experiences and, and peer in and watch what I'm doing in each of those scenarios. And as I move through them, I can like pass them in front of me and choose to zoom in on any that I feel drawn to, but then they tend to collapse before I can hold or sustain too many of me. And then on even higher doses, I tend to leave where I'm actually looking at, where at my time right here, and just completely go into another time. So it's usually the past, which looks to me like lifetimes, other lifetimes. And I go back in, into other lifetimes and experience something that I was doing that was very similar to what I'm choosing and doing or experiencing right now. And it's like they're going, see, you've been here before and this was the decision you made. Or they say, you're here now doing this because in the last 10, 20 lifetimes, these were the things you were doing. What are you gonna do about that now? You wanted to come here to make this choice now. Let me pause and say, I don't know if I believe in reincarnation. I'm saying this is what I experienced under the influence of this. I don't know yet. And I don't know if I'll ever agree or decide on the nature of reality. Because I don't really feel the need to make up my mind about the nature of reality. Whether this is just something I experienced under the influence of this. Or if these really are what's happening. Am I really manipulating time? Am I really here because I've been here before, many lifetimes before? Is there a spiritual war? Am I here part of it? Am I building a dreamer to help create a place for people to land? Like the big picture shit, I don't know if I believe that. And I don't know that I need to know the answer to that, that I really care because it's not going to change the fact that this is wisdom for me and I use it to make better choices. I use it to grow. And then I have another video coming up next about how to use Amanita and psilocybin for mental health as therapy. Anyway, on psilocybin, when I get to a place where I finish that lesson, that work, and it, you know, a minute, two minutes, five minutes, 10 minutes, 20 minutes, depending on the dose and where I go and what I'm talking about and what I'm doing and what I'm learning, 
if it was really, really heavy work and really painful work and really hard work and I'm exhausted and emotionally drained, then what they'll do is they take me to this healing place. And I've described it in one of my high dose in Switzerland videos is here on YouTube. They take me to a, a, a sound healing place that's copper looking. It's really big. It's metal. And it has um, the building itself on the outside. It has these rings of metal coming out like this. And it's like there's air intake. So there's layers of these pieces of metal coming out the sides. And in between them is like screens where it, they're like air intake or air release or whatever. Cooling things. And you go in the bottom of the building and you, you go in and you work your way to the top and these, the machines are there and they pick me up and they lay me down and then the healing starts and it's sound, but also energy and waves and vibration. I get that a lot, probably because I'm doing an incredible amount of work every time I take psilocybin. I've only done it recreationally once and that was my first time that's on my video on amityadreamer.net where I do eight and a half grams. That was just to experience it for the first time. But then I learned the true nature of it and how I can use it to work. And so I use it for work. So I usually go to these sound healing places. When they let me out of those, then they usually will say, we need to continue the work now because that issue is so big or whatever. Or if we are done with that work, when they release me, then they're, it's like they're waiting again, like, okay, what do you want to do next? What do you want to work on next? What are you here for next? And then I'll say what it is I want to work on. And then a whole nother show will start. I either go to the Intergalactic Council. Uh, they tell me, watch this show. Or I go to some place where I'm tinkered with or worked on again, you know, depending on what it was I came to work on. But it feels very blunt and matter of fact. And like I am in the middle of like a whole other place of existence and everybody's got jobs to do and everyone's working and everyone's busy and we're all doing our thing and we're all there. And, the, and it's based on love and love is the language, but the work itself is unemotionally blunt. Like this is the work you have to do. We have to do that. Th these are the lessons you need to learn. This is why these people did this thing. But the undercurrent to all of it is, is just love is, is what it's built on. The construct is built on love. I have asked to talk to the Amanita while I'm on psilocybin. And they and I do. And that's that's been really cool too. Back to Amanita. In the middle of the trip and the experience. I have had experiences where I've, if it's higher doses, I'm actually acting out other places and times and experiences, or I'm unaware of where I am, what house I'm in, what time I'm in, when I am existing, and I'm just moving through the things around me that I'm seeing. I go outside, I just sit for long periods of time, I lay in the bed for long periods of time, but I am existing outside of the space and time and presence. I'm just me. I'm alone every time because this is the you, Mushroom. This is the you separateness. Your identity because you're here to experience the space-time continuum as a separate being. You came here in singularity, into duality, to experience a meat sack and to have feelings to feel, to eat, <laughs> to play, to run, to jump. And the trip is focused on that for this mushroom. It's focused on this is you being in a meat sack. And so sometimes the work is to just lay down and have that mushroom take me away. And I hear a humming. It's a very different octave and even though it's multi-dimensional that that hum I can tell it's a more earth-based hum and sometimes I just go I just I'm my eyes are closed and I feel carried away but I'm unaware of what they're doing but I just know that we're going places and doing things but I am existing outside of anything I'm not where all the psilocybin beings are wherever they are I'm not there I'm not here, 
and I'm not in space or time. I am existing outside of all of it in suspended animation while I sense there are thousands of these beings talking, healing, working, but they don't tinker in my head. They move through the heart into the body. That's their entry portal. It feels more often than not on psilocybin, their entry is always through here. And then the healing sound stuff feels whole, whole existence. I don't ever feel the psilocybin entering through this as a portal when they enter my beingness. It feels like it's always up here somewhere. The Amanita always talk to me in relation to them, my past life selves, my agreements before I came here, my goals, my sorrows, my choices, and why I wanted to be here. And, and this is not in the best or highest good for your ideals. This was not on your journey. This was not part of your path. We suggest a path or course correction to this. We suggest that you network more. We suggest you let go of the fear. We suggest you say yes more. And that, that's how they speak to me. And it feels like these are just suggestions with love through, they send it as, as information, but it's coming through here. And then it arises as thought here after it's entered. Whereas on psilocybin, it feels more like they're not suggesting. When I go there, they they tinker, they take, they work, they do. And I feel like I'm more of a, a subject. It feels more like a simulation or like I'm running a game and I've agreed to be a part of it. This feels more like I am a sovereign entity with choices and they are working with us. So the way that it feels and seems to me is potentially... The psilocybin beings and other entheogens, ayahuasca, all of those, are part of the simulation or the wiring or the writing or our overlords or part of the game that, that you check out and, and you take a time out on higher doses where you get to travel and be out of the game. But there's layers you've got to pass through first, like ID checks and things they need to tinker and do. Whereas it feels like these guys are part of the game, part of the simulation, part of the structure, part of the contract. It feels like they came here from other places in the universe to help the planet ascend, change, grow, stretch, be part of helping. Because in the beginning, they were the ones that gave aquatic plants that washed up on shore their mycelium would help pull water to them. And that was the beginning of plants and plants growing roots. They've always been helpers. They network. They have to grow at the base of trees. They network with trees, with plants. They work with animals to get their spores spread. But they are the ultimate helpers and anchorers of the earth, of being groundedness, of being individual things here to have different life experiences like a tree and networking and communicating with the trees and knowing their families and their life stories about their incarnations here on earth and then also with the humans and their stories and their incarnations here on earth but we think they've only been here for 30,000 years or so did they come here to help us all be part of this awakening if the earth is millions of years old? That was their reason for being here. It's all very interesting. Mushroomvoice.com is where we have our community meetings. We do Zooms all month long. And for Love Month, which when I'm uploading this is February, I'm doing a Valentine's Day Zoom. I'm doing, uh, I'm going to try to do more, but a smoking Amanita dance party. If you want to learn about smoking Amanita, go to AmanitaDreamer.net and watch that whole playlist about smoking Amanita and why. And then go watch the videos on ceremonying with Amanita if you want to. Those are on the events page and ceremony page. This is my take on all of this. I am not speaking as a voice of authority. 
plenty of you have much more experience with psilocybin and you will have your own take and I want to know about that. If you would tell your experiences or whatever in the comment section so other people can learn other versions besides mine or, you know, whatever you think of my version of it or whatever. So I hope that you like this and appreciate it. Okay, then. That was fun to talk about. <laughs> I love you, beautiful people. Bye.